are what? a grown woman. Yes, stop, stop it. What? Stop it. Stop what? Stop Tell me what to stop. That. Yeah, One let's... more time, we will restrain you, notify the captain, land this airplane at the closest airport, and have you arrested. Excellent. Now, either you want to be quiet or have that happen. I would like to be arrested. Thank you. You would like to what? I would like to be arrested. We will get to notify the captain. Imagine asking to get arrested. Has this lady lost her mind? I mean, apparently. Who's yelling on a plane? Also, that man is the man that we all need on our flights. That man needs a raise, because gosh dang it. <laughs> he was like, I'm here to tell you as directly and clearly as possible what is about to happen. I love it. No room for confusion there. <laughs> A doctor, she can't do, diagnose somebody if they're too f***ed up to get on a plane. That's it. That's my call. That's my call, right there. But you ever hear me? That's my call. Uh, uh, stewardess cannot be a doctor and diagnose somebody if they're too drunk to get on a plane. That's um, I'm sorry, but like you don't have to be a doctor <laughs> to figure out that like the guy who's yelling and slurring his words <laughs> and just like being a nuisance in the airport is probably too drunk to get on the plane. I don't think you need to be a doctor to figure that one out. <laughs> and like the security guy's right there. Like, I'm sorry, but yelling just isn't gonna get you anywhere. Not at the airport. Definitely not at the airport. <laughs> oh, snap. Complain! You wanna be to me! You will see me pissed! You will! Oh, get me the off this plane! I will fight! I will get called on. I don't care! Put me in a sight fest! You know who my brothers are? They're marine snipers! You wanna put the marine? Oh my gosh. If your brothers really are Marines, they're gonna be so embarrassed that you're in public acting like that. What the heck? Also, if she's saying, if you don't get me off this plane, you're gonna see me really angry. You're gonna see me really pissed off. I'm like, if we will see you like that, if you don't get off the plane, then what's this? Is this just regular calm Karen behavior? Like what? I'm like, lady, I think we're seeing it whether we get you off the plane or not. I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> also, when we're thousands of feet in the air, realistically, what do you expect? Like Karens really expect an entire plane just to land whenever they want. Um, sorry, that's not how that works. You need a lot of space to land a plane safely. Sorry. The entitlement of the Karens just gets more insane every day. <laughs> Before they just wanted to speak to the manager, now it's a whole emergency landing. Yikes. I'm gonna guess you're gonna miss your flight, lady. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take a wild guess since you're gonna be in handcuffs very shortly. No, wait, wait, I'm going to this flight, huh? Mm -hmm. I, need help. I don't think so. Yes, I, I need help. Yeah, you need help. What in the world is going on here? Why don't people just get hammered at the airport? Why not? It never goes well. It's just a bad idea. Like, don't get me wrong, time doesn't exist at the airport. So if you want to have a drink at like 9 a.m., go right ahead. I mean, who's going to stop you? But that's also the issue. <laughs> like, I just, the airport's not a place to be drunk. Tipsy, maybe. Take the edge off a little bit. But drunk, just no. Also, even tipsy. Like, I would lose my passport so fast. It would be the first thing gone. You can't, no. <laughs> Flying is too stressful. I could not drink while trying to fly. Why? Mm -mm. This lady don't know which bag is hers for anything. Okay, she's gonna grab that bag and it's gonna be the wrong bag. Oh, oh, we got traffic. Oh, we got traffic. Beep, beep. Oh, no! Oh my god, and she's on the ground? What in the world? Hey, that's not her bag. How much of that is not her bag? We got this drunk lady here. Man, and like baggage claim sucks. Takes so long, you're already traveling, you just wanna go home, you just wanna be out of there. Everyone walked 
fast there. It's aggressive sometimes. Like baggage claim is one of the worst <laughs> parts of flying. So this lady right up to the thing on the ground can't even take the bag off. Oh man, I honestly, I would that would probably be something that if I was there in real life would make me angry. I'm not gonna lie. That would be one thing where I'm like, oh, that made me upset. And not a lot of stuff does that, but yeah, I felt that one personally. <laughs> oh, because y'all allow that baby to wake me up with that no, oh, my baby. Okay, whoever you need to watch baby. your language without a baby. To, I don't have to watch no language. Cuz, cuz, I don't have to watch no language. Cuz, y'all got this fall child. Y'all got this fall child. Woke me up with the Scooby Doo sh the pop, the, the, them women walking by here. Uh, it's like, I get that it's annoying to hear other people's children, but like also children are children. I mean, <laughs> Like, we can all just be like thankful if we're in a situation where we don't have to deal with the screaming child, you know? Like it's probably, I don't know, you know? Like I just, I understand the frustration, but I don't think that that's the way to deal with it. It's kind of just like, I don't know, you gotta put in headphones and uh, deal with it for a little bit for the flight. It sucks, but that's what happens. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. I know it sucks, but I don't think that's the way to deal with it. But maybe that's just me. Excuse me. Can you find her another seat? Because I will not be verbally. Oh, yeah, this lady. By this or anybody else. I saw this on Instagram. I will not be verbally abused by anybody. I'm not tolerating it. I can't, I can't sit here because it's both so big. I'm left and right. I can't, I can't even stand, sit here. Do you want to come up and stand and then we'll find this place? Yes, please. Oh my god. The Karens will really just do and say anything. But like, honestly, I'm glad that she did this because not only did she expose herself and the video's gone viral, but also then these two people didn't have to sit by her anymore, which is really all we <laughs> need in that scenario because those people should not have to. Also, no one in the middle seat, that's a dream. <laughs> I'm like, that's the best. Having three seats just for two people. One more could you ask for really? So the Karen played herself. Did she just put gum in her hair? Oh my God. What a nightmare, but also why is your hair over the seat? I do not agree with putting the gum in the hair, but I am like, what did you do that caused this? You know what I mean? Sometimes there are consequences for your actions and you wanna be, you think you're being cute. You think you're being, you know, crazy. And then things like this happen. So, you know, I don't agree with the gum in the hair, but I am like, could have been avoided if you didn't have your hair over the seat like that. But I'm also assuming that there was a conversation before that was like, oh, hey, sorry, your hair is like over my seat, like, because the TV's in the thing. What if you wanted to watch TV? So I'm just assuming that a conversation happened prior to the gum. But if she just went straight for gum, that's insanity. All right, tape this. Ta who's taping this? Who's taping this? Oh, y'all. No, no, no. To get the, f I'm getting off the plane. Don't touch my. F I'll get off the plane. Get my f off the f under thing. Oh, cause I called someone old. I get kicked off the f plane. Bye. It's like, oh, cause I called someone old. I get kicked off. I'm like, no, it's cause you're acting like this. That. Also, I love don't touch my stuff. And then literally the next second, get my stuff out from the under thing. I'm like, I thought you don't want them to touch your stuff. But seriously, the Karens, well, see ya. Have fun driving to your destination now. Sorry, they asked us to put a face mask on our four-year-old. So we did, so we did. We put in a face mask on our four-year-old and they're still kicking us off the plane. I apologize to everyone on this plane for delaying you. I would never, ever, ever want to do that to you. And I am sincerely apologetic to that. So I have seen this before, but I'm like really unsure of what happened here. Cause if things happened like she said that they did and she's apologizing, I'm kind of like, she's not a Karen. 
but the people on the plane were like clearly not having this apology. And I don't know, I've seen some things on the internet that aren't really in favor of her. So I'm like kind of confused and conflicted. I'm not exactly sure what the real scenario was. So if you know, let a girl know. Jury's still out at this moment. Guys, that's all the clips and stuff we have for today. Um, uh, if you're flying somewhere, let us know down in the comments below where you're gonna be flying to. Are you going somewhere cool, somewhere fun, somewhere not fun? Let us know. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Somebody's drilling down the hall. It really distracted me. Why is there always drilling in this building? Can we talk about that? <laughs> oh man.